Welcome back to another episode of Bike Talk with Bike Lane. This is Bike Checks with Ed. I'm Ed, and this is the 2021 Giant Cypress DX. Um, so the Giant Cypress is a hybrid bike. There's several different style hybrids. This is a comfort bike. Um, so this bike is centered to just be more comfortable than anything else. Um, still a very sporty bike. It does come with a suspension fork. Um, and it does come with 700 C wheels, which is equivalent to 29 inch. So it's very fast for what it is. Um, so we're gonna start off in the front end here in the cockpit. So Giant gives you ergonomic grips. These ergonomic grips have palm inserts. The palm inserts are meant to relieve pressure on your palm. So when you're leaning forward a lot or doing a lot of long riding, you can spread the weight out on your palm. Um, so your wrists don't get tired and your hands don't get tired as quickly. Um, you get shifter pods that are separate from your brake levers, so that's always great. So if you ever need to uh, switch out a brake lever or shift, switch out a shifter, you never have to change out the whole unit. Um, everything's full aluminum up front. Um, you have a 25 inch wide aluminum handlebar. 25 inch, in my opinion, is a little narrow, um, but a lot of people don't have wide shoulders. What you're really looking for in a handlebar with is pretty much shoulder width apart, so you don't feel like you're stretching out and you don't feel like you're too in. You still got plenty of bike control. The wider the handlebar, the more bike control you have. Um, you also get a really cool feature on here, which is an adjustable stem. For a comfort bike, an adjustable stem is a huge plus. Um, with this adjustable stem, you can pivot the stem completely vertical if you like, or you can angle it all the way down. So as you raise the handlebar up, it also makes the bike feel shorter because the handlebar now comes closer to you. Um, so you have plenty of room to play around here and you can figure out your perfect position just by loosening up a six millimeter Allen key. Um, the stem is a quill stem, so you can still raise it up from the quill itself as well. Um, right here, we're about halfway up, so you still have uh, about another inch, inch and a half to go. Um, Giant gives you a suspension fork on here. Um, so it's aluminum lowers with steel uppers. It's 63 millimeters of travel, which is not a lot of travel, but just to have a suspension fork on a hybrid style bike is a plus anyways. Um, so this guy's just gonna make your ride a lot smoother if you hit any bumps or go off any curbs. It's gonna absorb the momentum for you. It's gonna just take the hit so you don't feel it in your hands and it doesn't shake up your whole brain. You do get a uh, 700 C wheel as I mentioned, which is equivalent to a 29 inch. And that's a very fast wheel. Um, so compared to most other hybrids that have a, a skinny 700 C, this guy comes with a 700 by 45 C tire. Um, on Giant's website, it is listed as the Giant PX2 tire, which is puncture resistant. Um, this is not the Giant PX2 tire. The Giant this year comes with a Kenda tire. Um, it does not have any puncture resistance either. Because of all the shortages that's been going on in the bike industry, bike companies have been forced to kind of just make changes and they haven't updated their sites. Um, so a lot of bikes are not up to spec as far as what's on the website. So you can always come into your local shop and ask some questions. The rims are double wall, so that gives you plenty of protection. The 700 by 45 c tire, which is an 85 PSI tire, which is a lot of pressure. 85 PSI will make your bike really fast, really low rolling resistance, but it'll make the ride a little rougher. Um, but because it's a high pressure tire, you always be protected. Um, where you won't be able to really hit your rim if you go off a curb or hit a, a, a pothole too hard. And even if you did, your double wall rim will protect you from your rim getting bent or dented or anything like that. Um, aluminum hub, loose ball bearing, 160 millimeter rotor, which is the width of the, the rotor itself. Um, you do get a mechanical disc brake, huge plus on a hybrid. Um, mechanical disc brake, disc brakes stop all weather no matter what. So it's great idea to always get a bike with disc brakes. Um, this is the Tetro TKD mechanical disc brake um, and you have the same disc brake in the back here. So now moving towards the back, we have the same tire, the Kenda tire, 745. Same wheel, um, double wall rim, it's a giant rim, 160 mil rotor, Tetro TKD brake. Your drivetrain, now Giant gives you a 175 millimeter length crank arm. The length on the crank arm actually makes a really big deal. Um, a shorter crank arm will make a quicker rotation. Longer crank arm will take longer to go around. Um, but it's ideal for a longer crank arm on a hybrid style bike because you're able to cruise a little easier. You don't want to be really hustling. You want to kind of take your time. 
and you do get plenty of gears on here to go over whatever obstacles you may come across. So on the front you can get a 28 to 44, which is a really big jump. So a 28 being the smallest ring up front, it's going to be really easy to pedal so you can get over any obstacle. Um, 44 being the biggest ring up front, making it the harder ring, so if you want to go really fast and get some speed, you easily can. On the back here, you have an 1134 spread. An 1134, which is an eight speed, you have eight different cards in the back. You have a, a wide range, same as the front, where if you wanna go really fast, you can put it on the 11. If you wanna climb, if you're coming up to a hill, or if you wanna maintain your speed, you can drop it down to any of the in-between cards, and your 34 being the softest one in the back. Shimano, excuse me, Giant this year, gives you a Shimano Altis rear derailleur. Um, but you do get a micro shift front derailleur. Um, so it's two different companies still doing the same job. They still look just as good. Again, there's been a lot of shortages. Um, so companies are making it happen. You do get plastic platform pedals on here, which uh, in my opinion definitely deserve an upgrade. These guys don't have any grip on them whatsoever, but this bike isn't meant to be riding off-road and you're not gonna be getting all muddy or wet or anything like that, so you're really not gonna slip. Um, but pedals that have some grip is just a, a big plus because your feet will never slip and you can get plenty of power out of it. Um, another big plus on the Giant Cypress is the suspension seat post. The suspension seat post adds a little bounce to your bike. Um, so it's like you have a dual suspension bike, you technically do. Um, so if you go into a potholes, hit any curbs, your weight will push down on the post and it will absorb most of the hit for you. And if that's not enough, Giant also gave you a suspension seat. So you actually have dampeners in your seat which will actually also absorb a lot of the hit if you hit something. So you got a double suspension on here. Um, Giant also gives you a pretty wide saddle. Um, so the saddle on here is 200 millimeters wide and 260 millimeters long. Um, so it's a pretty wide saddle. So this guy is pretty much as comfortable as you can get without getting like a big couch on here. Um, so everything about this guy is just meant to be kind of hardcore, comfortable, yet still kind of sleek. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can always come into the shop, or call us or email us, or you can comment. Don't forget to please comment and subscribe. And uh, if you have any suggestions, Write me.